Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my first city living let's play video. I'm super excited. I hope you're excited too. I just bought city living and I haven't explored the gameplay at all. I've created sims, I've built apartments, but I've never played in it before. Maybe for like a few minutes, but that's it. I just gave them jobs. And that's all I did. So I'm really excited to get to know this world and everything that it has to offer. And I hope you're excited too. So as you can see, I created four households for this series. Uh, and that's because I have a household in every single area that there is. So four areas, four households. First one you see is land crab. <laughs> you might be wondering, hey, do I know that name? Yes, you do. Uh, this is actually another son that I created who is also evil and also very rich. And he lives in one of the really, really expensive apartments in Uptown. Um, he doesn't really communicate with his parents that much, but he is more like them than he thinks. He also, he lives in uh, the not land grab apartment. So there might be some things going on with that family. <laughs> then we have Staples. Um, her last name is Staples. Her first name is Penelope. This is Penelope. And Penelope really likes the color pink and she really likes fashion. And she lives in a fashion district. So. She is broke, <laughs> like really, really broke. Um, you can see that she actually has 19,000 simoleons. That should be zero, so I'm going to cheat that to zero. But she is pretty broke, and but she really wants to make it in the fashion world. So she's just going to try. She now has an empty apartment. She has nothing. So her story will be sort of like a rags to riches sort of story, hopefully. Then we have the Amador family. Um, it's not really a family. Except for these two, those are brother and sisters. And actually, her brother only lived with these three guys in one apartment. Two guys, actually. Um, but his little sister wanted to move in. <laughs> I will tell more about that in whenever I'm not sure. And then uh, you have a fun little group of people right here who are now called... Enter band name here. This is a band. They live in the spice market area those these people live in the arts quarter by the way um they live in the spice market area they are pretty broke but they want to make it as a band they also play a different instrument but they don't have a band name yet so if you do want to submit one you can do that by commenting and maybe i will pick yours um I'm looking for one, so please help me out if you know anything. Uh, I will tell you one thing, they're obsessed with space and aliens. So maybe do something with that, if you can think of anything. If you can, you will help me out so much, so I hope you do. Uh, but let's move, let's just start playing this game. I will, I will start with the first family I created and that was the Amador family. Okay, as you can see, they live here in the Medina Studios apartment in the arts quarter. Um, I will move between households, by the way. Um, I don't really have like a set thing. I have backstories, but I'm not sure what is going to happen, except for like a couple of things. <laughs> uh, and also, as you can see, the lot traits are pretty good for this apartment. Um, they have gnomes, which fix things in the night, so no more fixing things for us. And they have they have penny pixies, which means they might find some loose change around here. So let's move. Let's dive in. That's what I wanted to say. Let's dive in. And if you haven't seen my apartment building video yet, I explained a little more about this family, but let me explain again. So Bryce, is his name called? Is his name Bryce? No, it's not. Is it? It's, oh my god, I don't remember his name. The blonde guy. <laughs> um, he moved into the arts quarter um, because his big dream was living in the city and it didn't matter where he lived. So he moved in with his two best friends uh, to the arts quarter because one of them paints and really wanted to live in the arts quarter. So they moved in here. Uh, but then a little later, his sister was like, can I please move in with you guys? And the reason she asked that is because she also really wants to be a painter and she really wanted to live in the arts quarter because that's beneficial to her career really to her dream of becoming a painter uh, and i mean 
this guy, I can now actually look at his name, Brayden, that's his name. Brayden is like a pretty big family guy. He's family oriented, so he was like, mm, maybe, maybe I could do something nice for my little sister. He didn't really want to because it's kind of awkward to have your little sister live with your best friends and it's kind of awkward. Bryce, this is actual Bryce, Bryce Summers, he is the painter in this house. So he was like, yeah, sure, let her move in, why not? Um, and then Liam, Liam Newman was like, no, 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 no way, I don't want this. Please don't let her live here. <laughs> but then the other two guys were like, mm, but she can pay and we're kind of short on money. And then Liam was convinced too, so now Kylie is actually living here. <laughs> Which is sort of like an awkward dynamic. As you can see, it's pretty much a stereotypical guy's apartment. And then we have this stereotypical girl's room right here. <laughs> so let's go over their personalities first. Uh, let's go see their traits. Uh, Liam Newman is... He is... A weird guy let's just say that he um, is a computer whiz because he's a geek he really likes games his like passion in life is to be a pro gamer he's romantic he's like a little bit of like he tries to be a little bit of a ladies man and he's a goofball <laughs> so he's like a pretty fun dude that really wants to be a pro gamer that's his room where people all are gaming right now <laughs> like the gaming thing is uh, pretty popular in this house which I expected. Then we have Bryce. He's an art lover, outgoing, and another geek. And he obviously wants to be a painter. And then we have Brayden. He just wants to live in a city. Um, oh, no. Nope, he's friend of the world. I needed to change that. Didn't I? Okay, let's change that first. Um, not the reward store. Let's go to uh, aspirations. Let me change this. Um, not popularity. No, 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 no. Let's go to location. That's what I'm looking for. Is it here? Where is it? Deviance. Oh, it's... <laughs> never mind. It's in Elf... What's that called? No, it's not. Is it not? Popularity. Where is it? Where's location? Location. Oh, I wasn't... Okay, I was on the right track. And then I fucked it up. Sorry, let's do this. City native. Yes. So he is not a city native. He's actually born in Willow Creek, I think. Um, but he wants to live in the city. He wants to become a city nat native, even though that's not possible. So this is sort of happening in this apartment right now. Let's go over their jobs. They oh my god, he's basketballing. Is that the thing I can use? inside that's really cool <laughs> i just love the amount of things they can do i didn't know if that was possible inside but i guess it is and i guess he likes it uh so let's go over their jobs first so he is a business person um really all he wanted was to just make enough money to live in the city he didn't really care about his job he's just doing it so he can make money then we have bryce who's a painter uh, then we have Liam, who is obviously, uh, right now he's a live chat support agent, but he's going to be a pro gamer if he's lucky. And then we have Kylie, who is working at a coffee thing. Uh, she's now a coffee stain remover. Uh, she's a barista. Is that a word for it? So let's actually get all of these guys to do the things they're supposed to do. Uh, this is Brayden's room, which is now occupied by Kylie. And Kylie, you need to do something else because you're actually a teen. She's a teen. Did I say that? Um, I don't think she needs to do anything for this, but she obviously needs to make her homework. So let's have her do her homework. Then I'm pretty sure that Liam just needs to play games, right? Oh, new things that I don't know. In the zone from successfully making three consecutive close shots. Well, let's him play video games. Um, let's play a game. Play Party Frenzy. I've never really used that before, so that's really cool. He actually has his own gaming station in his room and also his own computer. Uh, then I'm pretty sure you need to paint Bryce. 
Um, obviously, these guys don't have any <laughs> don't have any skills yet, but we're just going to. Why Bryce does not have enough Simodians? <laughs> oh, whoops. He okay. Well, that's. Can we look for money? <laughs> nope. Okay. Well, keep doing what you're doing then. I guess we're just gonna have to wait till someone works before we can actually do something. But yeah, that's basically the first family. Um, I just wanted to go over that. So let's actually move on to the next family. Um, do we need to go to Manage Worlds? No. Yes. We do, right? Okay, let's save and go to Manage Worlds. Okay, so we're now at Chic Street. I couldn't see the numbers that were just there. But this is Penelope Staples. She is quite a unique sim. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. But she has a very, very big passion for fashion. So let's look at her simology. Apparently that's what it's called. And I knew that. And I've been playing the sims for months now. So I don't know what I've been doing in that time. <laughs> so she's a perfectionist. She's a vegetarian. And she is neat. Um, so you... You could probably sort of see the person I was going for with the perfectionist and neat sort of thing. Uh, she likes things her way. She's also a vegetarian because I just wanted one of them to be. Because I think it's, that's, just, that's just a fun thing to play around with since we're exploring the world of city living anyway. And she's a media intern. She's doing the social media career. Because I, I have this story in mind that she is going to be a fashion blogger. That's what I think of when I think of Penelope. She really wants to like share her opinion. And I was thinking about making her a criti critic, but there isn't like a fashion critic. Uh, otherwise, that would have been perfect. But she's actually a social media person. Uh, and this is her apartment. She desperately wanted to move into um, the fashion district, obviously. And let's actually go to Testing Cheats True. Money, zero. There we go. That's the way to start. <laughs> um, yeah. So she has nothing in her apartment right now. And she has zero dollars. Now, there is like a little problem. Um, that she m maybe hasn't told anyone that she is broke. And she spent a lot of money on these clothes. But she doesn't have any money anymore. Uh, so people think she's rich. <laughs> People think she lives in like the biggest apartment. Um, nobody has seen her apartment either. And she likes to keep it that way. But having said that, we do need to make money. So I'm having her travel to the park. Because there is a park just outside of um, the city. And we're going there. And I'm hoping I can actually see find some collectibles there but the tricky thing is that no one can see her digging for collectibles or collecting things because then they would probably know that she's either rich or just look at her like what are you doing uh, she's not rich by the way broke see that she's broke or look at her like what is she doing um is this like a new fashion thing because she's getting pretty famous now so no one can see her when she does does these things or it might just someone might put it on the internet or film it and put it on youtube and that's not good for her career so we can't really do that so it's going to be like a fun little challenge with her we need to make keep her alive we need to be able to give her some money and also no one can know that we don't have any money <laughs> so we're here at the park i've never been here before so we're going to see this for the first time i like the entrance to start off with i have no idea if there's going to be collectibles around here oh my god there's like a little what's it called like gazebo is that the word for it <sighs> i only know that oh my god there's a place to get married <gasps> Oh my god, that's the cutest thing. Oh, they have like a little... Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, she's going into the observatory, right? That's cool. Is she actually in there? That's such a fun... Yeah, she is. See her little plump up there. <laughs> it's such a fun thing that um, they're doing. They're, they put this down because 
when you want to build that into your own backyard it takes a really long time if i'm not mistaken um, or it takes a lot of money so if you want to do that career or just want to see what happens when you do that there's now a place for you so this is a, a, actually probably a good place to be right now because as you can see this is like a fancy restaurant i don't have dine out so it's not but is it supposed to be a fancy res restaurant maybe acquire the logic skill it's not really in her character to do these things but okay but this is actually a really good place for us to be right now because there's toilets there is a kitchen and upstairs um another bathroom are you kidding me there's like a full house here no one lives here right okay so there's no bed that's more of a problem but there's like a full functioning house. So if she just naps instead of sleeps, she can live here for a little while while we get our feet on the ground. Because obviously we need some things to get this going. So she can't go anywhere there. And there aren't many collectibles around here. But there are also no people around here. So she can probably look for frogs without being disturbed by anyone. So let's do that. There's more frogs here. Oh, the little. Oh my god, there's someone there. Okay. Well, she's fishing, so she probably wouldn't notice if we just look for frogs over here. But we need to be careful. Is there. Yeah, there's a toilet there. Okay, so this is the area we can actually walk on. The other part was not an area we could walk on. Okay. She found a striped leaf frog. And on dirt frogs, so we can actually breed those, which is good. Because that gives us the ability to make some more money. Um, are there more things we can walk here? Okay. More collectibles. I need to be lower on the ground because there's a tree in the way. Okay. Nothing. Oh, we can't even walk here. Never mind. Okay, we can walk here. Um, acquired the gaming skill. <laughs> Because she's on her phone. She's doing so many things that aren't really in her character to do. Um, well, I guess gaming is for everyone. Um, let's look for more frogs. Wait. Look for frogs. There's no one around here. So it should be okay. Fishing is tricky though. We can fish. But it's going to be tricky just because... What is happening? Oh, that was my dog. Sorry. I just got scared because I just heard like a really high noise oh my god there's oh my god this area is bigger than i thought i thought this was the only area but there's oh my god there's someone busking here that's amazing oh i love that oh can we just listen to that please and there's someone behind this bar too it's an adult he looks cute. I don't like the mustache. He does have a mustache, right? Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Not a big fan of mustaches. Okay, well, I guess frogs are the only thing we can find here. But let's actually watch this performance. We can tip her because we don't have any money ourselves. So I'm sorry. I also really want to... Oh, she's just... She's done now. Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, Penelope's here. Hi, Penelope. I love her name. I don't know. I just like the name Penelope. Let's go into our inventory. See if we can breed anything. What's What are the like most expensive frogs? 10, 10, and 10. Well, great start. Great start. Let's just breed something. <sighs> we have another one of those. Can we breed more? No. Okay. Well, let's sell all of them. We can find more frogs that are worth a little more in a little bit um so we made some progress on penelope but i think that's all we're doing for this episode on her story because i want to sort of introduce you to every single one of them okay we're now at the langrep household and i don't like this sim let's just start with that i hate him he is materialistic he's a snob he is business savvy he is a 
Shrewds from completing the fabulously wealthy aspiration. But anyway, uh, I don't like this guy and he's really rich. I love this apartment though. Um, he has some... Oh my god, look at that view. That's just amazing, isn't it? <gasps> he has... A pretty big fight with his family right now because he is not living in the land grab's apartment he is living in the apartment opposite of that but look at how beautiful this apartment was designed just look at the pool at the bottom and then we have this room and it's just oh it's just modern and sleek and it's just it's just honestly amazing uptown is so beautiful too i would never want to live in a place that's like this but oh it's beautiful it's amazing. I mean, imagine the view you can get from this place. Oh my god. Oh, it's doing the thing again. Where it's not stopping me moving. Oh my god. Okay, well, time to move on. And we're now in the Culpepper house. With the enter band name here, Ben. <laughs> uh, so, reminder, if you do know a band name for this household, um, let me know. So, they're all living in this tiny apartment. Uh, with four people, we have our lead singer, whose name I can't remember because I created these sims and then I just sort of let them be, uh, Savannah Lane. Then we have our violin guy, who's Marvin Gibson. We have our guitarist, Alexander Leach. And then we have our pianist, who is Harley Goodrich. And as you can see, we have like a little stage area here i actually put some like stage lights in and i put all their instruments and a karaoke machine and like a busking area uh, so they have everything i need they have a nice modern kitchen uh, the place is actually haunted so i'm curious to see what's going to happen with that the living room is all in here and then we have four beds for them to sleep in <laughs> so that's i mean okay let's go over their uh, traits let's see she is a kleptomaniac, because I've never played with kleptomaniac before, so I was excited to do that. Um, music lover and a geek. They're all music lovers. Surprise, surprise. Then we have Alexander Leach, who's like the most normal... I don't know, I don't really like the term normal, but he's like the most usual, I guess. Like, other than his hair, he has pretty... Like, standard looks. <laughs> All of them are normal, let's say that. Um, but they all have different hair colors and I really like that. Okay, so he's active, music lover and ambitious. He's sort of like the leader of the band. He is the one who makes sure everyone is a little bit in check. And not just doing their own thing and making sure the group is working together. And he's always running around, um, like, making sure they're performing places and making money and all of that. <laughs> so... Marvin Gibson, he is uh, a funny guy. <laughs> he's creative, he's a dance machine, and he's a music lover. Uh, I really like him as a person. And we have Savannah Lane, who is a little bit um, out there, I guess. Uh, but that's probably a good thing for a lead singer, because they're mostly like the face of the band. So having something memorable is always good. She's self-assured, because she's like, I don't care what you think, I'm going to dress however I want to, which is really good of her. She's outgoing, and she's also a music lover. So they all do not have jobs, because I will try to make a living doing the busking thing. I'm not sure how it works yet, but I really, really want to try have them just busk all day, basically. Um, and I really love the fact that you can just move over to the main area. You don't need to travel over that. You can just scroll over and there you are. Um, I love that. So we can actually have some people busk here because there's actually a busking station here, which is good. Um, so we can have people busk here when... They have time. Wait, is my sim busking right now? Oh no, it's not. It's not my sim. Okay, well, whatever. Um. Oh, it's the same person. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, well, where are you? But where's the guitarist then? Oh, he's over here. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess that's it for the introduction to this let's play. I hope you had fun. I hope you. Let me say, I hope you learned something. But that's a different outro. That's another YouTuber. That's. Oh my god, what am I even saying? That's not my outro. <laughs> I hope you had fun. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.
welcome to my channel and welcome back to the Hamilton Create a Sim series where I create sims inspired by Hamilton the musical. So in this part we're creating the Skylar sisters but before I...